Hi, I'm Andrea and I'm a psychologist. I think that being connected to the different parts of ourselves is important. And sometimes in order to, to understand the different parts of ourselves, we actually need to be connected with another person in order to, to be in a calm enough state to do that kind of introspection and that kind of deeper work in self-understanding. When I say parts, I mean different aspects of yourself. So you are still the same person as you were when you were five years old. So that five-year-old part is still a part of you. For example, we've all had, well, maybe I'm speaking for myself here, but we've all had like the experience of snapping at someone, maybe a family member or something, right? And we, we noticed that we did it kind of like after the fact and we're maybe like a, embarrassed by kind of our reaction. That's an example of not responding and showing up in a totally integrated way where we're afterwards like, we can stand by how we react, how we responded, like what we said in that moment. So if that is something that happens often, we can look at what part that is that's reacting like that can understand why that part adopted that strategy of snapping. And we can learn to kind of communicate with that part and collaborate with that part so that part doesn't feel the need to be so protective. EMDR is really structured and, you know, the tapping or the eye movements that comes like that's stage four of a stage eight process. There's a lot of work that has to happen before we get into that part of it. But every step of the way is kind of healing in itself. So the first step, like there's a lot of benefit to just establishing a strong, trusting relationship with another person. There's a lot of co-regulation that comes from that and a lot of, you know, a sense of hope and a sense of like, you know, having a disconfirming experience with somebody listening to you can be really powerful. And then stage two is learning about your unique nervous system responses and why that came to be and learning ways of living in your window of tolerance more often and widening your window of tolerance so that you're not triggered as easily in your daily life. And then we start to kind of understand like the tapestry of your life and how all of your experiences have happened. And we create a timeline to figure out the targets that we're going to use for the, the bilateral stimulation, the tapping and the eye movement. So it's quite a process and it's very detailed, but every step of the way, there's a lot of gains and benefits that help people to move towards whatever they're looking for, which is healing. <laughs>